NoSQL data databases, graph databases, and in-memory databases. First up is relation database. Relation database is a structured yet flexible type of databases such as MySQL, Oracle, Teradata that stores and organizes data points with defined relationships for fast access. Relation databases has high asset transactions. Some of the use cases are for billing transactions, subscriptions, taxes, revenue, and banking transactions. Next up is wide column database. Wide column database is designed for global horizontal scaling and replication of data. They're dynamically scalable data persistence, extremely fault tolerant. One such example is Cassandra database that can handle high traffic and support real-time processing. Data is automatically replicated to multiple nodes. Companies such as Netflix, Uber Eats, Apple, Spotify use these databases for real-time processing and recommendations. HBSDB is used in the medical field to store huge records of genome sequencing data. Facebook, for example, uses HBase storage to store real-time messages. Next up is Graph Database. Graph Database is designed so that connection between the data are, co are considered as important as the data itself. It also stores data flexibly in such a way that it is not restricted to a rigid existing model. The data structure which it uses to store data is called a graph. Amazon Neptune is one such example of Graph Database. Users can use Amazon Neptune to process financial and purchase transactions in near real time, making it easy to spot fraud patterns. Neptune is used to store disease models and gene interactions as well as to search for graph patterns within protein pathways to discover other genes that may be linked to a disease. Neo4j is one other such example of graph database that is most mature and well adopted graph database in the workspace. Neo4j graph database is used for recommendation engines in e-commerce, anti-money laundering, identity and access management. This Neo4j database can follow complex chain of transactions and is vastly used for fraud detection. Some of the well-known companies such as NASA, Novartis, UBS, Vanguard use Neo4j graph database. Next up is DocumentDB. DocumentDB allows you to create multiple documents with different fields with the same collection. They can handle storing unstructured data like emails or social media posts. MongoDB is used for Internet of Things. MongoDB is ideal for data aggregation and building analytical tools. It is efficient in offloading data from mainframe systems. For example, Shutterfly uses MongoDB to store millions if not billions of pictures on its platform. Weather Channel uses MongoDB, which is a scalable solution and map produce functionalities to perform real-time analytics and forecast based on weather data obtained. Elasticsearch, one other example of document DB, provides near real-time search and analytics for all types of data. Whether you have structured or unstructured text, numerical data, or geospatial data. Next up is Time Series Databases. A Time Series Database is a computer system that is designed to store and retrieve data that are part of Time Series, which is a set of data points that are associated with timestamps. We can monitor Internet of Things, sensor data, analyzing and predict shopping behavior. One such example is Glucose monitoring systems. Sensors can capture real time data in set intervals of time and is then analyzed on a local device. Necessary data is accessible via a central dashboard. Some of the examples are Amazon Timestream, Redis, CreateDB, Droid, and Timescale. Next up is in memory databases. An in memory database is a set of data storage software that holds all of its data in the memory of the host. The main difference between a traditional database and in memory database is that it relies on the data is stored. So, the relation database stores data in solid state drives. A memory database stores data in random access memory or RAM. And hence, its orders of magnitude faster than disk access. One of the, the famous or popular in memory databases is Redis. Redis is an ideal choice for real time analytics. Use cases such as social media analytics, 
ad targeting, personalization, and Internet of Things. Redix can be used with streaming solutions such as Apache, Rafka, and Amazon Kinesis, and in memory data store to ingest, process, and analyze real time data with sub multisecond latency. Next up is cloud based software as a service, Snowflake. Snowflake is a cloud-based relational database for building data warehouses built on AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. Snowflake Data Warehouse uses a new SQL database engine with a unique architecture designed for the cloud. Hence, it's an analytical data warehouse provided as software as a service. Snowflake has support for semi-structured Snowflake data. There are some distinct advantages over NoSQL databases like Cassandra and MongoDB. Snowflake's native support for semi-structured data means your JSON, XML, Parky, and Avro data can be loaded and ready for querying in minutes. And that's the overview of various databases. Here's a pop quiz for you. Where would you classify Amazon DynamoDB NoSQL database in the mentioned database categories? Please comment. Also, please feel free to comment what other such databases you can classify in relational Y column, Graph DB, Document DB, Time Series DB, and In Memory DB.